Hello and welcome to my macro video blog. Today we're going to explore why does GDP equal spending on consumption plus investment plus government spending plus our next export, net exports. I'm Mike Flavlin and let's get going. Say that Jeremy buys a cell phone plan from US Cell. This is considered to be domestic consumption. And Jeremy buys wine that is imported from Italy. Well, this would be foreign consumption. Jeremy's friend Hector, he buys a TI-83 for his internet business. Since Texas Instrument is an American com company, this would be domestic investment. And let's just say Jeremy's dad buys a car from Japan for his business. He buys a Toyota. Well, this would be foreign investment. Uncle Sam also likes to spend money. Suppose that the government pumps up the military by buying U.S. made tanks. This would be domestic spending. Likewise, we'll say that the government buys new computer program stuff from India. This would be an example of buying foreign goods by the government. Many of our domestically produced goods are sold abroad. We would call that exports. Okay, now let's do a little bit of math. Jeremy's cell phone and Jeremy's wine are denoted by C for consumption and CF for foreign consumption. Likewise, Hec likewise Hector's Texas Instrument and the Toyota are denoted as I and IF. Uncle Sam's military spending and software and our exports are also given. If we add up the difference between what Jeremy spent on domestically produced cell phone and his imported goods from Italia, we can see that 10 minus 3 equals a net consumption of 7. There was also a net consumption of 3 for investment, negative 1 for the military um, uh, spending by the government and we can see that our exports of nine total up to a total gross domestic production of 18. I've shown the algebra at the bottom. I've defined imports as what we spend on uh, goods bought from foreign countries so I've grouped them as CF, IF, and GF then I've rearranged those. By definition, I now have Y equals C plus I plus G plus uh, net exports. Finally, I plug the numbers in and you can see that 10 plus 4 plus 2 equals 18. Got Jeremy doing a ham spring to show just how easy it is. This is part of my KISS series to keep it simple for the students. I like to say hugs and kisses. Hugs because I hope this grabs you and holds on and kiss because it's supposed to be easy.